think I am being misunderstood. I am not asking for a pound of flesh, no. And I know that what I'm asking for is not too much. Uh, I'm only asking for the opportunity to stand this man as the President General of our great town union here in Akama. That's all. No more, no less. Arimili. It seems you have forgotten that we are now practicing democracy. Democracy is a game of numbers. We cannot impose anybody on the masses. Besides, the nomination process has not been carried out. Or do you want a revolt in this community? I do not anticipate any revolt as a direct consequence of such an action, no. And I'd like to assure you, Your Highness, that should any problem arise, I, Mputajiogu, Orumili, I can handle it comfortably. All I'm asking for is the opportunity. That's all. If I may ask, who is this man that you have in mind? Good. Igwe, for asking this question alone, I'm elated. I am gratified. I'm humored. I'm obliged. And I thank you. Um, he is a retired government functionary, a seasoned administrator, and a highly esteemed individual in our community. And you know him. Nzeobiako. Nzeobiako. Yes, Your Highness. Um, well, um, well, like I said before, uh, we are now practicing democracy. And uh, as such, we cannot impose anybody on the masses. Uh, we are not suggesting that we impose or inflict anybody on the masses, no. Um, you will concede I have done so much for this community. And as our people normally say, that the essence of dog play is the virtue in falling for each other. Uh, what I am asking for is something I know you can do for me. That's all. Um, Igwe. I'd like to be going. I just entreat you to give this matter a second thought. Igwe. Igwe. Why were you people running away? Don't blame us. We didn't know you were the one. And uh, the, the presence of these uh, three guy happy men around you scared us. No, no, they're my personal bodyguards. They don't okay. harm anybody. 
Okay. Oh, really? You are highly welcome. Thank, Thank you very welcome. much. <laughs> 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 when did you come into town? Uh, not too long ago. As a matter of fact, I was going to your place. But now that I've seen you here, well, it makes the matter a lot easier for me. How do you mean? Uh, there is something very important I'd like to discuss with you. So um, I would like you to come to my house this evening or if you cannot make it this evening, tomorrow morning. Uh, is anything the matter? Mm, no, not really. Not much of a problem. But it's not something we can discuss out here. So um, I want you to come to the house. As you know, a tree cannot make a forest, as our people say. Exactly. So, uh, when you come, we'll discuss. I know that both of you are very, very busy people. Yes. Exactly. Yes. But I want to assure you that I will compensate adequately for all the time you are going to spend in my place. No problem. Yeah, we'll be there. We'll be there. So, I'll be expecting you, huh? Okay. All right. Okay. any piece of information which you think will be relevant to the king and you tell the king and the king acts on it it does not only make him a good ruler but you would have won his confidence in it's true Mili, you have spoken at length but I cannot say that this is actually what you are saying so why don't you hit the nail at the head? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't be in a hurry, I'm coming. Um, I was only watering the ground for easy germination. Very, <laughs> very. <laughs> you see, it is common knowledge that, but for me, the Igwe wouldn't have been where he is today. There are so many things I have done for our people. I even hate enumerating them. I brought a community bank to our people. I brought a cottage hospital. I brought the post office. I brought water bottles. But you see, what pains me is that the Kaba boys that I brought here for the security of our people, the Igwe, now claims credit for. Not only that, he has now mobilized them to promote his own personal interest. I believe that a laborer is entitled to his wages. True, yeah, yes. I must be honest with both of you. I don't like it. In fact, I was coming from the Igwe's house when I saw you people. Ooh. I went there to see him just to make a small request. To ask his permission to nominate a president general for our town union. And what did he say? He refused. He turned down that request. Thank you. Um, mine is a simple quick question. Yes. Uh, who is this man? Uh, he is somebody you all know very well. Zeubiako. Wait a minute. 
We have known each other for a long time now. Yes. The truth is bitter. Yes. But it must be told. Nzobiako is somebody that is well known in this community. Yes. He has a very bad record. Hmm. Uh, it's only a fool that will be cheated twice. Exactly. So, I don't know. Alain, what you're saying is not new to me. I agree with you. Good. There is no house without a problem in it. Mm. By the same token, there is no individual, no matter how righteous, that does not have some blemish. Mm -hmm. Zeobiako must have made his mistakes in the past. But I'm assuring you that he has turned the new leaf. Otherwise, the Kaba boys would have got him by now. Which is why I am suggesting that we give him a chance. That's all. <clears throat> um, I have heard all you have said. In addition to what each uh, year and then there, said um, if we accept your terms the Kaba boys and other itches will be a stumbling block wait leave the Kaba boys out of it now who are the itches Jugura who are the itches you, him, me, we are the cheers. If collectively here now we agree that this is what we want to do and we stand by it, there is no way we can sustain opposition outside. There isn't. So what I'm saying is this. Let us agree here and now that the Obiako is a collective choice. So that when we now go out, we can persuade other Ichies to endorse him. You see, I know that both of you are very dependable. This is why I have decided to express my appreciation of your friendship here. Take this. It's written in your name. It is a check for 200000 Cash it, spend it in whatever way you like. It's yours. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, what are friends? And uh, try to persuade the other Ichies to see Nzeo Piako as a popular choice. Consider it. It is, it is very important. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> yes. I don't know how I feel about the this thing. I am still thinking that oh, uh, uh, to go around, what are you thinking? Eh? Must you be chicken hearted till the end of your life? Eh? Look here, Tura, let me tell you. Don't you know that you must use what you have to get what you want? After all, no one else has approached us except Torimili. If you don't know, know if this is democracy. The highest bidder wins everything. Uh, Anende, you seem to be misunderstanding me. If we take this money, wouldn't this cover boys find us out? Huh. Eh? I don't want to die on that man's death, too. I don't want to uh, listen, Kaba boys won't do you anything. We've not stolen this money after all. This is just the money given to us to win us to their own side. They just want to lobby us to their own side. Hmm? Look here, let me tell you. This is one of the dividends of democracy. You see this money? Yeah. You see it? Yeah. Consider it spent. <laughs> We'll I'm spend it. I'm <laughs> I'm oh, listen. Why Bring another topic. Let's talk. This morning. 
gun. We are going to spend it clean, clear. Nothing will happen. Oh. <laughs> Gorim is a trickish man. Whether he's trickish or not, we have never negotiated. We never asked him to pay us so much. So much. He brought it out of his own way. And we're taking it. You see this money? It's <laughs> fake. Our people say that the scarcity of any masquerade makes it more graceful and very, very relevant. So I'm not surprised why the Igwe has not come up to this moment. While we wait for the Igwe, I want to use this opportunity to tell Orimiri to ask those men behind him to leave us. They should go outside and wait for him. They do not belong to this community. Yes. I have heard you. These men behind me are not ordinary policemen. They are my security guards. Wherever I go, they go. But if they must leave, then these Kappa boys here must leave as well. After all, they don't belong to this community. I support what you know who has said. <clears throat> these boys cannot be here while we are discussing. Yes. The tradition demands that the secret of a community must be made known to only those who are members of that community. Okay, okay. yes. Sit down. Hmm? If you have nothing meaningful to say, sit down or to leave this palace. Anana, yes. That I should sit down. You say you should sit down. Anana, that I should sit down. You should sit down. Anana, that you should sit down. Shut up, you are a brother. I greet you all. All the elders, all the chairs, I salute you. Um, oh. Mpota. Igwe. I see some men uh, behind you with guns. Uh, tell them to wait outside. Uh, Igwe, they are my personal security. They follow me wherever I go, Igwe. Uh, we tell the cover boys here, you needn't fear. Tell them to go out so that we can progress. Mm. All right, you will. by apologizing for being a bit behind shadow. It is not without a cause. Uneasy lies the head that wears the crown, as they say. I am sorry. Yeah. Let me also seize this opportunity to thank you all for your unflinching support since I ascended the throne of the Igweship of this community. I thank you all. It has not been easy. Now let's go straight to business. We are here to nominate those who will vie for the post of the President General of our dear town. We will do it in such a way that at the end of the day, Whoever emerges as the President General will enjoy your support just as you have supported me and the immediate past President General. Igwe, our man is in the Obiako. He's a man with a vision. 
He commands respect and he has done so much for this community, Igwe. On the contrary, he has dealt a very big blow to this community. Mm. Oh. A jailbird, a bandit. We are not in support of him. Hey, 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 hey. Point of correction, Kasiap one. Do not say we. Yes. Say you. Exactly. As for me, I am in full support of what Uribila just said. And so do I. Yes. I am not surprised. He who pays the piper dictates the tool. I won't be surprised to hear that he has promised you people some kegs of power. Okay. And I mean it. <laughs> Are you trying to say that I'm a drunkard? Yes. Your dead father is a drunkard. Exactly. Hunger killed your father. That's right. Exactly. Your mother died due to epilepsy. Ale, a bad history of your family. Caution. Hey, sir. Never you mention the name of my father in this matter. If, if, oh, that, it. if he does that, what will you do now? Ah. Elders. Ah. Elders. <laughs> Enough of that. Let us not be like empty vessels that make the greatest noise. Let our discussions here be purposeful. Like I said in the beginning, we are here to nominate persons who will vie for the post of the President General of our dear town. We have a way of doing it. Eh? We cannot impose anybody, anybody on the masses. Mm. Exactly, Igwe. This is why I am talking about Nze Obiako. He is the man we want, and he will, he will occupy that position. Yes. Let the heavens fall. Right. He will be there. Okay. Impossible. Yes. Obiako is not qualified to be the president general of this community. One. Yes. He is not qualified. Yes. And let me warn you. You better respect yourself before I remind you of what you have forgotten. Eh? Oh. Okay, okay. You are talking to me. Okay, okay. You are talking to Mputa Jiobu Orumili. Hi! Igwe, I ask your permission to leave. Let him go. Let him go. Let him go. Let him go. He cannot do anything. He cannot do anything. Exactly. He does not even know that we know that his hands are soiled. Oh. That's why he comes home with policemen. Mm -hmm. One day, just one day, <coughs> he will come back home alone. And the cabot boss will get hold of him. And that time he will sing like a bird. Oh. Oh. Instead of Obiako to be the president general of this community, mm. I swear. Let God take my life. Oh. Over my dead body. Huh? Never happened. Over my dead body. Yes. 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 Over my dead yes. body. Yes. And so be it. Yeah. You are taking too much. Okay, okay, okay. 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 They get drunk with authority. They get mad with power. They are given to all sorts of indiscretion. Look at the Igwe. Just look at the Igwe. I remember when Okwelme wanted to take him out of that seat. I, Mputa Jogo, single-handedly engaged Okwelme. I mobilized people. I went to the governor and I told him, I want this man to be there. There are reasons why I did it. And the governor gave him a certificate of recognition. This Igwe, this man that today sees me as his enemy, I put him there. You know, sometimes I find it difficult understanding humanity. I brought the community bank to this place. He appointed his own man, managing director of that bank. I was watching him. I brought a cottage hospital here. He appointed his relation, medical director of that hospital, right? I took it in my stride. But what pains me most, the one I find difficult to understand and has been giving me sleepless nights, is the fact that I brought the Kaba boys into this town because of the insecurity that was plaguing our people. This Igwe twisted my arm and wrestled those boys away from me. Today. He claims credit for having brought the Kaba boys here. 
Zenabo, I went to him as a friend, thinking I was talking to a human being. I said, look, I have done a lot of things for you. He said, yes, I know. I said, good. I have also done so much for this community. He said, yes, I know. I said, good. Do me one small favor. Allow me to nominate Nze Obiako as the President General of our town union. He has worked so hard and I would like him compensated. He turned it down. Can you believe it? This man flatly refused upon all what I have done for him. This is strange. This is very strange. Look, men like you are hard to find. That is why any community that has you should, should feel lucky to have you. Forget about all this nonsense about um, equality of all the heads. When the right time comes, we will know who is who. But why, why did you keep all these things away from me? Why did you allow them to pile up till this time without telling me? I wanted peace. Anyway. I will advise that you eliminate the Igwe or you rig the elections or better still consult the governor about this issue. Uh, Zenabo, eliminating the Igwe or rigging the elections is totally out of the question. For the mere reason that, you see, if you eliminate the Igwe or rig the elections, the Kaba boys will be after you. So let's take that one out. About informing the governor, I have spoken to the governor on this issue. And he told me that the security reports he's been receiving on the Kaba boys is very, very impressive. What else can I do? What is the guarantee that the governor has not been bought over? Ask me. Now, when you discussed this issue with um, the issues of your community, mm. what was their response? Mm, well, some of them liked the idea. Others opposed it. There was one person particularly that was very, very vehement in his opposition. The chairman of the vigilante group. In fact, let me quote what he said that day. Fonze Obiako to be appointed President General of this town union over my dead body. Did he actually make that statement? He made it. To the hearing of all the people? Every single person there heard him. I think I got him where I need him. resistance much force with force I know you are very confident but remember you are moving into enemy territory therefore you will take no chances at all 
ask you one last question. What if he meet us on the way? I hear this cup of boys put less to not penetrate them. <laughs> yeah, that is all nonsense. It's all fairy tale. If you meet them on the way, shoot them. Let's see how the bullets do not penetrate. Are they not flesh and blood like you and me? They are. Fine. Fine. Now listen. Remember, you are not the real Kaba boys. Therefore, you can't afford to take chances at all. If the man I am sending you to abduct refuses to comply, shoot him. Have you heard me? Shoot him. Good. This money is part payment for your assignment. If you complete the job, I complete the payment. All right? Good luck. I think you need it. to see you. The boys have come to have a chat with you. So, what have the great cover boys, the pride of Akama, come to do in my house by this time of the night? Night, noon, or day, the great cover boys have the right to visit any family in Akama. Besides, the innocents have nothing to be afraid of. You are highly welcome. So, what do I do for you? Zobiako. You're required to come with us to our office. When you get there, you'll be told where you wanted. What? To your office? By this time of the night? I don't think I'll be able to leave my compound until the day breaks. Zelbiaka, it might please you to know that I did not come here to parley with you, but rather to take you to our office by any means. Now you get into the vehicle or you face the rot of the great cover boys now. What is it, Peter? Hey, woman. I mean, is there Shut a problem? Up. Are you? Get inside the bus. It is not for us to determine here until we get to our office. Into the vehicle. Besides, the innocents have nothing to be afraid of. For great cover stands for peace and justice. And both of you stand here to tell me that you did not know what happened. Eh? You heard what the wife of the dead man said. That she saw with her own eyes that they were the Kaba boys. And they came with uh, Akama Vigilante Services uh, vehicle. Oh my God. Eh? Your Highness, let us handle this matter with care. I believe that the culprits must be brought to book. I believe that the captain will be brought to book. Now let me tell you, Chief Okeke, and you too, 
If you think that you can do anything here to bring the rot of government on my community, you had better have a rethink. Your Highness, Kaba stands for peace and justice. We have never wasted any innocent soul. And ever since we came into this community, nobody has had cause to complain about our conduct. And we cannot begin to make mistakes now that we have advanced our techniques. Your Highness, if by commission or omission, somebody, somewhere, is trying to rope us in, we shall see. For no matter how small it rains, the ground must know and bear witness to it. I said it. Since the Igwe and his cohorts took over the affairs of the Kaba boys, the Abu Sobrandi has changed completely. completely. Look at what has been happening in our town. People have been disappearing. This is what I have been fighting against. But yet, People in this community will not even see eye to eye with me, right? It has happened again. Why will they take this man away from his house in the middle of the night? Why? So many innocent souls have been wasted like that. Exactly. What did Obiako do? Just because I nominated him as the present general of our town union, they abducted him and they murdered him. But I'm assuring you that this time, the Igwe and the Kaba boys have beaten off much more yes. than they can chew. Yes. And they will pay for it. I'm assuring you, they will pay for it. My son, take heart and stop crying over spilled milk. Urimil here has promised to dig deep into the root cause of this thing. And you know him. We will bring back my father to life. Even my mother is in the hospital. Yes. How oh, will I do? Look, he will not. But stop crying for the meantime. Yes. All of us here know that your father died out of jealousy. That's it. And we are showing you that the perpetrators of this must be exposed very soon. So take it easy. Yes. This is a check for 500,000. Mm -hmm. Use it in recovering his body and arrange to give him a befitting burial. If I leave this place, I am going to see the Igwe. I will try as much as possible to persuade him to drive away the Kaba boys. Yes. Where he refuses to do it, then the government must come into this matter. That's right. Wait a the Kaba boy to leave this town, what will happen to our life and properties if they leave? My sisters, let us be realistic. Eh? Before the Kaba boys came to this village, we were living, weren't we? Eh? So, if the government wants the Kaba boy to go, let them go. Do you hear me? Let them go. Or are you people in support of the killing of Nzobiako? Are you? Say what you know, man, Kichi. Say what you know. Kaba boys have never killed somebody wrongly. I see it as a frame up. Government had better look into this matter properly before it gets off hand. That's my prayer, too. Because if they dare leave, the force which we these evil men will invent this town. I don't think this community will contain them. There's this man, Mute who was very bad and had almost killed me. When the Kaba boy came, he fled. I am hearing that he is somewhere at the north, 
boasting that if he dare comes home, that nobody will remain in this our community. What I'm saying is that if the government will come and kill me in place of this Mazo Biako, so that the cover boy won't go, I won't mind. Hey, <laughs> they want the kid be killed. I don't want to remember anything. I said I want to drink away my sorrows. I want to drink and drink and forget about all the bad, bad things that is happening in this town. How can I come up without Kaba boys? That is like setting back the right hand of the clock. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of a guy, if you are satisfied with the mode you have taken, you better leave. Mm -hmm. Kaba, 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 are they your God? Why must they kill an innocent man? That they arrested the chairman of vigilante, is it a crime? If my Zobiako was your brother, would you have a reason in the way you're reasoning now? If the Kaba boys will go, let them go. Wait, 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 mm. That is my own. Mm. Wait, 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 wait a minute. My brothers, let us call a spade a spade. Eh? Mm -hmm. What has the chairman of the vigilante group done to warrant his being taken to Abuja? Eh? And the most annoying thing was that it was Orimiri himself who invited him to his house and handed him over to the government. I am happy. I am happy that death knows nobody. Listen, let me tell you, if this Kaba boy should leave and this bad man enter into this our town, everybody wants the risk of losing either his life or property. Haven't you heard of what is happening in Lagos? And robbers everywhere. Now, the government wants to mobilize this uh, POC, uh, CPO, CPO boys to, 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 to take over security. Huh? Listen, let me tell you, you do not know the value of what you have until you lose it. Don't you remember how we used to run? How we used to take refuge and shelter in the bush? <laughs> my brother, my brother, let us not make the mistake of a lifetime, oh. Let us not make the mistake of a lifetime, oh. <laughs> Eh, madam, I bet bring a start three bottles. Three bottles. In your more, in the party more, in the door more, in the neck of the world. One, one bottle or so. On your level, yeah, well. Your Highness, your humble and law-abiding servants have come to know why Okeke, the chairman of the security outfit, has not been released. Our people say that when another man's corpse is being carried shoulder high, it is regarded like an ordinary log of wood. Mr. Okeke has a family, wife, and children. Why has he been allowed to continue to languish in cell in Abuja without caring? Why, Your Highness? Why? What is good for the goose is also good for the gander. The people and the youth of the community in one voice. Yes. That the high power delegation led by you be sent to Abuja to effect the immediate release of Nzokeke, immediately. <clears throat> Akama, you squandered? Yes. The Grand Kama boy squandered? Yes. 
I salute you all. Igwe. Um, he who does not know and knows not that he does not know is a fool. Yes. A capital fool. He should yes. be shunned. I know that there is a problem. I, I mean, we have not folded our arms. Never. No, Agune Chamber. Your Highness. Agun Okem. Your Highness. The pride of Akama. Your Highness. The man with boundless energy and limitless ability. Your Highness. Calm down. Calm down. I urge you and your boys to get yourselves together. Calm yourself. If you start to riot now, our enemies, our collective enemies, will seize the opportunity to strike. Yes. Is that what you want? No. no. In fact, I have sent somebody to Abuja in respect of Nzokeke to see that he is released. But now, I will get ready and go to Abuja myself. Nzokeke must be released. Yes. I have spoken the minds of the elders. You yes. have. Uh, you have. Very well. Mm. Very well. Uh, caution will definitely be a watchword. Please. Your Highness. Our people say that soft words are like cold water poured on a hot object. Your use of words has disarmed me. And I believe it has done the same thing to the youths of the community. We shall go, hoping to hear from you soonest. Allez, boys, to the plant house. Bye bye. Bye bye. At last, may God be praised. Did he come with Okeke? Yes, he did. He did. Hey! This does not call for celebrations. Why? Do you know that all this while Igwe did not come back? That government detained him. What? They had to release him. Immediately he signed that when he gets home, Cover boys will go. Change. Then the cover boys will go. Hey, oh. Akama is finished. Akama is finished. Hey! Akama is finished. What will happen to the young bananas when the old ones are gone? Hey! Akama without cover. Hey, Akama without cover. Oh, oh, thank you very much. I'll see you later. <laughs> <laughs> Alele. Alele. Do you ever thought that Abuja is Akama? Where he rules anyhow? <laughs> when he got to Abuja, yes. he was reminded himself for two days. <laughs> And he's messed around. <laughs> <laughs> Where is he? 
They told him that this matter is beyond him. That's right. <laughs> you want to try government? Oh. Who are you? <laughs> eh? I thought he claims to be strong. When he was told to sign the papers that Kaba boys must go, why didn't he argue? Oh. Rubbish. <laughs> but the Igwe has done a lot for this town. So, we must call a spade a spade. For him to have sacrificed his time and everything. And went to Abuja. And on getting there, he was detained for two days. Yes. Oh, detained for two days, yes. Yeah? Uh -huh. and, and that shows that he has done a lot for this town. Uh -huh. And Go for on. both of you to stay here, making noise like empty vessels. Masi, are you calling us empty vessels? Yes, uh -huh. you are empty vessels. We empty vessels. Let, let him be. be. Let, let it be. Let him go. Let him go. go. Masi, we are drinking you in the cup. I can see that he's telling me inside. Yes. Eh? Somebody who is down did not do your work. That's it. Eh? That's <laughs> you. <laughs> See you. 